Hello, good day. Uh, I am Dr. Mandakini. I am presently working as project scientist in Punjab State Council for Science and Technology, Chandigarh. I have completed my PhD on the topic titled Technology and the Colonial Punjab Impact on Society from Punjab University, Chandigarh. So today I am going to present my research paper on patterns of everyday technology, impact of electricity, bicycle, sewing machine and typewriter in colonial Punjab at the 8th International Conference on Social Science and Humanities. And this paper is a part of my PhD thesis. So coming to the structure, I have based my paper on the seven structure to cover problem area or need for research, input, efforts or methodology introduction, parameters of technology, discussions, impact, and conclusion. So first of all, I would like to state the reason for choosing this particular topic or the problem area and what is the you know need for this research. So the province of Punjab in British India was annexed in 1849 and it was ruled by the British Indian government from 1849 to 1947 when India gained freedom. So it was the period during which Western technologies in agriculture, small scale industry, transportation, communication and everyday life were introduced. So both in urban and rural areas, the life of average person were impacted by the arrival of novel and modern technologies from all over the world. The objective of this research paper is to discuss the impact of technologies of electricity and associated items like the electric fan, bulb and everyday machines of bicycle, sewing machine and typewriter on the colonial Punjabi society. So technological interventions impacting society has not received the desired attention of researchers. Therefore, I have taken up this study. So coming to the inputs, efforts and methodology, my paper involves several dimensions as I have borrowed ideas and research techniques from allied disciplines and the methodology which I have used is uh, analytical, comparative and uh, multidisciplinary. My research is based on detailed examination of both primary and secondary resources. I have also consulted libraries, uh, archives and contemporary works. So coming to the introduction, uh, as stated earlier, the province of Punjab was annexed politically and administratively by the British on March 1849 and immediately after annexation, a board of administration was appointed. The board introduced far-reaching political, economic and social changes to, uh, to strengthen hold over Punjab. And these developments included introduction of many Western technologies and among these were everyday life or household technologies of you know electricity bicycle sewing machine and typewriters although these were small technologies uh, as compared to those of railways metal roads uh, bridges but nevertheless they significantly transformed the life of punjabi people from every walk of life uh, the impact created by these technological interventions need to be given importance as a positive impact of uh, aspect of colonialism therefore this uh, particular research topic gains importance so my paper is based on everyday technologies of electricity bicycle sewing machine and typewriter so this for discussions i will base my discussions on introduction and impact of everyday life technologies of electricity bicycle sewing machine and typewriter in colonial punjab so electricity was introduced in british india at darjeeling municipality in 1897 and in next 10 years presidency towns of bombay and madras were electrified it was also about this time that it was thought of bringing electricity to Lahore in colonial Punjab. In 1908, many important buildings in Lahore were supplied with electricity through dynamos. 
uh, Siemens Brothers company started supplying electricity to Shimla in 1912 from hydroelectric plants installed at River Satluj. Tender for uh, you know supply of electricity to government buildings was awarded to the Lahore Electric Supply Company in 1912, and over the years this company was able to expand its consumer base from only 98 consumers in 1913 to 40,000 in Lahore alone, and 20,000 consumers in other towns as well as. Uh, so by 1941, as many as 12 towns situated in other provinces were also supplied electricity by this company. The government provided licenses to municipal committees of Lahore, Amritsar, Shimla, Jalandhar, Multan, Rawalpindi, and Gujrawala to generate and sell electricity from 1915 to 1925. Other than these, work on the Ul River hydroelectric scheme in Mandi was taken up from 1926 to 1933. For supplying power to substations at Kangra, Pathan Kod, Dhariwal, Amritsar, and Lahore. So, at the time of the partition, there were 26 private uh, electric supply undertakings in colonial Punjab. Uh, so, coming to the bicycle, a bicycle was an everyday machine which was cheap, simple, and autonomous mode of individual transport compared to horses, carriages, and railroads pioneering technology. The export of bicycles started by 1890s uh, by British manufacturers such as BSA, Raj and Ralge. And by the end of 19th century, bicycle had become an integral part of the Indian middle class. Around 35,000 bicycles were imported by India in 1910 and in the next decade, their import had almost doubled. Uh, bicycle manufacturing in British India started in Calcutta in 1938. So coming to the sewing machine, sewing machine was introduced in the mid 19th century and soon it managed to reach even the remotest villages of colonial Punjab as it was considered a harbinger of change. By 1900, sewing machines could be seen in bazaars and roadside tailors shop. Out of all imported brands of sewing machines, Singer and American brand was the most famous brand. So the typewriter was an important innovative uh, you know technology developed in the second half of the 19th century that served on a global scale to articulate a new sense of modernity these were in use in colonial punjab by early decades of the 20th century in 1913-14 6267 typewriters were imported and by 1928 to 29 the number increased to 21000 to 487 the most famous typewriter brand was American named Remington, which was marketed by outlet, outlets located at Lahore, Amritsar, Rawalpindi, Multan, Yalpur, Shimla, and Ambala in the colonial Punjab. So coming to the impact, the technologies and everyday machines brought about a you know, small revolution in colonial Punjab. So, uh, coming to electricity, electricity in colonial Punjab started to create, you know, impact in 1908 after main buildings and posh areas of Lahore were lit up through small generating plants. Electric lights in the form of light glass bulbs and started replacing the primitive oil, oil lamps as people started appreciating this novel technology. The government also encouraged people to use electricity and initiated its generation from water as well. So use of electricity led to the production and use of electric components like electric fans and bulbs, electric motors, lamps, wires and cables, secondary batteries, dry batteries and cells, distribution, transformers and electric lightning accessories which provided employment to the people. By 1911, in 1911 and 21, there were around you know 1,477 and 1,458 workers respectively engaged in electric works and by 1931, there number has increased to 2032. The employment also gave a boost to the economy as the oil lamp, lantern and pankha or hand fan began to be replaced by electric bulb and fans. One could see advertisement for electric bicycle lamps, electric bulbs, flashlights, flash pumps, loudspeakers and generator sets in second and third decades of the 20th century in colonial Punjab. 
Electricity also provided new strength to the industry as electric power driven motors reduced the production time and labor costs. Uh, by 1921, out of total of 414 factories in colonial Punjab, there were about 47 factories which had installed electricity powered motors. Thus, the introduction of electricity in the 20th century in colonial Punjab was an innovation that changed the lives of Punjabi, Punjabis considerably. So coming to the bicycle, the bicycle had a very you know positive effect on society and economy of colonial Punjab. It gave rise to spare parts industry as Ludhiana became you know hub of manufacturing bicycle accessories and parts. Employment was generated as a large number of uh, cycle repair shops sprang up uh, for repairing chains, brakes uh, and forks for, and pumping up tires. These were the street level practitioners of everyday technology. Bicycles, you know, gave people a new sense of physical freedom and created new opportunities for social interactions. Men, women and children now move freely, freely in hill stations, cantonments and civil lines. The cycles helped in building a healthier image as the cycle clubs came up and many cities by 1910 uh, uh, had started organizing activities like cycle racing. It gave rise to local entrepreneurship in late colonial period as exhibited by the cycle industry of Ludhiana. Bicycles helped in erasing social caste norms and gender inequalities as many workers, office goers and girls started using bicycles for mobility. It uh, came to be identified uh, with state power as soldiers and policemen used bicycles to increase their mobility and effectiveness. Cycles also became a symbol of postmen and telegraph boys. They were accepted as the easiest mode of transportation by the lower as well as middle classes as they were, you know, cheap and easy to maintain. So, stream machines were rapidly accepted in colonial Punjab as there was no significant cultural resistance as they passed almost effortlessly into everyday use. They required very little capital investment and therefore reached even the far off villages. Swing along with embroidery and dressmaking were seen as suitable occupations for poor and female orphans and the missionaries started advocating them for girls to prepare themselves for future lives as housewives. It also transcended racial divide as many females started making and mending family clothes as a part time occupation which provided them you know an independent source of income it also became a tool of indian women's upliftment as hindu and sikh reform organizations like rs maj and singh sabha started you know urging women to take up swing to augment family incomes and to stretch their own clothes so as a you know part of their emerging identity swing machines became desirable objects as philanthropic gifts and as items of dowry among middle classes in the colonial punjab and due to the you know western influence the indian mode of dress was uh, changing and this made the swing machine even more useful as many tailor shops opened up in lahore shimla and amritsar uh, by the early 20th century lahore the fashion capital of uh, colonial punjab started providing the you know the services of tailors in the homes of customers and generated large scale employment failing profession reached 6% of the total population in 1911 and the strength of tailors increased by 40% from 1901 to 1911 as the use of sewing machines increased due to more demand of stretch clothes. In 1901 there were you know 1,8963 tailors, embroiders and dressmakers which rose to 2,15,311 by 1931 like example due to the presence of local, uh, rail workshops and army cantonments in lahore the number of uh, tailors and stitch clothes uh, you know doubled or increased so coming to the last everyday technology typewriter was an everyday machine that articulated a new sense of modernity and it usefulness made it a necessary item of modern office in colonial punjab many punjab uh, government departments like punjab government civil secretariat revenue and industry and labor departments started using typewriters and purchased remington typewriters from the main headquarters of the you know manufacturer located in lahore and shimla Commercial firms and private employers also started using the typewriters and in the you know earlier 20th century getting a job especially in the government office 
usually depended on having a recognized certificate from a typing school so many you know typing schools were founded in the first half of the 20th century to train people and the british government of punjab and uh, the, you know these started these typing schools uh, started in lahore amritsar shimla montgomery sialkot jalandhar and firozpur for training government officials and clerks so coming to the last part of my paper conclusion the overall you know impact of everyday technologies of electricity bicycle sewing machine and typewriter was very positive and these were accepted wholeheartedly in colonial punjab by all sections of the society because they made life easy and comfortable the bicycle and sewing machine also empowered people and women in particular as they found you know the everyday machine very useful in generating income from the confinements of their home all these everyday technologies played an important role in gearing the province towards modernity and this aspect should be regarded as a you know positive outcome of the colonial punjab so with this i'll conclude my presentation by saying that technology is a you know tool for social transformation and development of the society and history of technology empowers how human society developed and progressed thank you